Okay, Helena, you ready? Come over here. Okay. We're gonna do a little bit of Pirkei Avais. We'll teach everyone one Mishnah, and then could you teach everyone how to do that beautiful waterfall painting? I'll teach you how to do that painting. Good. Okay, you ready? Um, the Mishnah says Hillel would often say. If I don't, if I don't help myself, who will help me? But if I'm selfish and only help myself, what am I worth? And if I do not do what I should do now, when will I do it? I may not have the opportunity later. If I'm not for myself, who am I? And if I'm only for myself, what am I? And if not now, when? What do you think this means? Mm -hmm. Um, Should we learn a little bit about it and then we'll know, and then I'll ask you and then you'll tell me? Yeah. Okay. Motivate yourself. Emena Neely Mealy. The Mishnah lists three thoughts that we can use to push ourselves to achieve and accomplish more. To become a better person, you have to work on it yourself. Imagine there was a chicken that got really dirty and it had it fell in the mud and it had mud all over itself. And then someone went to try to go clean a chicken and they were trying to clean every single feather. How long do you think that would take? Like billions of days. Oh, a lot of days, right? Yeah, different Do you think different. they would get it totally clean? No. Nah. They would try to clean every single feather? No. Or it would take so long. But what if that chicken just stood up and flapped its wings and shook itself so that the dirt would come off? How long would that take? Like 10 seconds. Yeah, 10 seconds, right? And do you think the chicken would get pretty clean? Yep. That's right. So this is an analogy, This the chicken. Um, if the owner wanted to clean the chicken, he would have to spend a long time wiping every single feather. That's still, And he still might, might not manage to remove every spot. Yet if the chicken would just give one good shake at its wings, all the dirt would fly off in an instant. Parents, teachers, and friends can help you. But the only one who can make you change is yourself. If I'm only for myself, who am I? Working hard on yourself comes with the risk of becoming so self-absorbed with yourself that you forget to think about others. But what's all, all, it's all the worth work if we don't do anything to help other people? When we learn Torah, we always got to put it into action, right? Yeah. What's like, what do you, how do you think you could do that from? Um... Is there something you learned in school or something that you learned that you put it into action and you did it? Um, no. Think of something. But, um, wait. Did you learn about, I know when mommy asks sometimes for help cleaning yeah. up, who's usually the first person who helps in our family? Me. Yeah. Do you learn about that in school, about helping others? Yeah, we, we, because I don't talk in the middle of, um, davening when it's raining, so we do it after davening, then we, like, we do sedaka early, well, we mm -hmm. have another two, we do sedaka, mm -hmm. and, and I always go to class like every single day, but not in one day in school, I almost forget to Sadaka. You give Sadaka and Sadaka charity every day? Very yeah. good. And then the last part says something that's worth doing is worth doing now. This moment will never return in the opportunity, but it might be lost forever. What does that show us about time, Klana? Oh, time. What should we do with our time? We should learn time and do good stuff with our time. Good. Not just do blah, blah, blah. What's an example of something good that we could do with our time? Um, we could use it for to learn Tyra and Davin and Block and whatnot and to make Jewish videos like we're doing right now so people right. can learn Tyra. And what about when we go on a walk? Who helped hold Freda's hand so she wouldn't fall? Me. Um, I hold her hand um, mm -hmm. on the street. And I helped to put down those big sticks. Um, they were really bad. Couldn't move them. So I went around and had to go on the street. 
actually just, I just moved it. That's right. We were walking yesterday and there was a bunch of twigs and there was one big one and Hannah took it and she kept on moving the twigs so that no one else would trip on it. Very good. Okay. Hannah, you ready to start with the painting? Yeah. Okay. Let's get you started. Okay. Let's get, go get a painting shirt on. dark blue paint. I'm just going to teach everyone how to do a painting now. And we'll switch for the white canvas. Blue. Okay, so everyone should get on their palette. We are putting some dark blue, some lighter blue. Uh oh, we're going to need to switch it for the blank canvas so everyone can see what you're doing. So what brush do you need? We're going to use a thick brush. Like this one? Um, a little bit thicker. How about... No, that's... I messed up brush. This looks like a good one. Right. Where's napkin? Make a medium blue. Okay, here, dry the brush first. A second. Um, dry the brush. You're going to need a lot of white. Just get that color off here. So you're going to need... So you could start by mixing a little bit of dark blue and light blue together. So you'll have a, a lighter shade of blue. Like this shade? Yeah, you could mix more though. And then you'll do one layer of that medium blue on the top over there. Yeah, that's a great color. Okay. Can you do one layer of that, Hana? Excellent. Just need one layer. Good. Now under there, oh, let's get water to rinse out your brush. Okay, that's a lot of dark blue here. Take water, rinse it out, and put it over here. Make sure there's no paint anymore in it. And then you're going to do a layer of white. Yeah. So a layer of white underneath there. Oops. Too wet. Yeah. Alright, it's okay. Let's just dry this. Yeah. Uh, okay. Blue white. Do a layer of white. Wonder? Not yet. Now on top of the white, could you put some of that light blue? And if you want, you could also mix it with a touch of green. So do that light blue, and if you want, you can mix it with some green. Medium green? Yeah. Just mm -hmm. me medium green. Just a touch. There you go. You can mix a little bit of the and the blue together. I know I do. So it'll get like a nice aqua color. And you can do that on top of the like white. that? Yeah, that's perfect. On top. Yeah. Good, and you can go down a little bit more. Go down a little bit more. Good, get that nice aqua color. Very good. I need more white. Please. Excellent. I might need more white. Yeah, you can do a little bit of white more if you want. We're going to do a light sunset. That's what we're aiming for. And you can also go all the way up so that you blend it to the top. Very good. Excellent. Now, underneath that, I'm going to do a thin layer of light orange. 
Okay, you can rinse out your brush. Make sure your brush is clean. That's good, rinse it out. Make sure your brush is totally clean and dry. Very good. Here, we, got, we want to make it dry so that it's not too watery. Just do a thin layer of that light orange color. So approximately that color. I don't know, look right there. Just a thin layer. Could even go underneath there a little bit more. Very good. And now take white and then go with a thick layer on top of that orange so that we lighten that up a bit. Very good. More, you could, you could even do more white. Very good. Excellent. And then you could go up so you blend it really well. Very good. You could even do a little bit more. You could do a little bit more orange and white to make that a little bit, a little bit more, give it a little bit more of that color. Right underneath there, you could do that, that orange color. So we have, good, that's perfect. Then you can do more white and make that line go a little bit down, further down. Perfect, you got it. So it's very, very light. Excellent. Excellent. Beautiful. Now what you're going to do is we're going to make some bushy tree, like light trees in the background. So we're going to get some um, green. light green mm -hmm. and a little bit of black just for some shadow. Where's the dark dark green? One second. We don't need the dark green. And just a teeny drop of black. Oh, kind of, kind of careful. And a little bit of, a little bit of this. Um, let's give it a little bit of white. Okay. Connie, ready for the combo? Yeah, but we're not going to do dark, dark green right now. We're going to just do black and black, the light green, and white. Yeah, you could use like a lime. I'm using a little bit of lime tree and a little bit of lime sherbet. If you just have one, that's fine too. Do a little bit of the brighter green too. Okay. Now this is the fun part. You take your cotton balls cotton and balls. I'm going to give you like a few cotton balls. These ones are teeny tiny. We're going to dip it in the black and then the, and then the green. And then the, not the, the, yeah, the light green and then the white. Mix. Yeah. Mix. And now what I want you to do is look over here. Are you able to see them? Just make like a, try to make a straight line across. Why is it dark on the top? It's okay. We're going to blend it. Don't worry if it's a little. You do want to see different shades. So it's good if you see a little bit of that black. That's good. And now we're going to get a little bit more. Kana, you could do now, now do the light green. Or you could do the the deep, the brighter green, the lime tree, and just white. Yeah. And now we're gonna just do it on top as a top layer. Yeah. And you could it doesn't have to be even. You could make it taller on one side or shorter on one side. It looks like you need a little bit more white on the top. Can you dip that in white? Dip the whole thing in white, in a thick white. A little bit more, huh? Good. Yeah. And then you want to blend that in. So you want to get that white to go all the way down. Good. If you need more of that light green, take more of the light green if you want. Maybe. Yeah, that light green right there. Good. Keep on going. Over here? I'm yeah. Going. Yeah. Just, you want to make it a little bit thicker. Maybe you could add a little bit of the deeper green. You could add a little bit more of that deeper green. Yeah, just on the bottom. Is that a tough angle for you, Hannah? Yeah, do the, do the lighter green on top. You don't want too much of that dark green because this is from behind, Hannah. Here, I'll give you another one. Just use more like white. You want 
Here, let's, when we dip it in, let's dip it the green and the white. So we got like a nice amount of paint. Okay, are you ready to go for it? I'm gonna do it? Okay, I'm gonna just blend this in a little bit more. Maybe a little bit of black too. So that we have more of a... Shadow. Yeah, just for the shadows. There's our bushy trees. Whoops. Hold on, I'm a little bit in a funny angle. Okay. Okay. There we go. Okay, now we're gonna do a little bit of a sun on the top. Ready to do a sun, Hana? Gonna take one small paintbrush. Small size. Okay, let's do a little paintbrush. Let's find a little one. Oh, there's a little one. Okay. Dip it in white. And now just make, maybe it's easier to go from the other side. Just make like a little sun right over there. Right there. Just like a little white circle. Can we do that? Yeah. Make a little white circle right there. Perfect. You did it. And then what you want to do is just take that white and just make little like lines that go underneath it. Little like half circle lines. Yeah, that's good. Oh, that's really good. Take part. Oh, very good. Yeah, you could even take ducks. Yeah. Just get some white. Very good for a little bit of a glare. Very good. You did it, Sana. Excellent. Now you ready for the fun waterfall part, Sana? This is the yes. fun part. Okay, so we're gonna take our wide paintbrush. First, you gotta dry it really good. And you're gonna take your dark blue. Dark, dark. Mix it in dark and then the light. And you're gonna make a straight line. A little bit on top of the green. Okay. So starting from, get, get a good angle, Sana. You wanna make a little, ah. whoops, careful. Are you okay, Sana? Okay. You want to make a straight line. Hold the paintbrush in a way you can make a straight line. Very good. Yeah, maybe do more of the blue, just the plain dark blue, because it looks like the green is still wet, so it'll be like a nice, give it a nice tone. Very good. Now get more of that dark blue and then light blue. Dark blue and light blue. Very good. Now what you're going to do is you're going to go in in a downward but curved motion, down. So take your brush, but make sure you've got a plenty of paint. The dark blue, just put it, dipping it in the dark blue and then the light blue right on top of that. So what you wanna do is go like that. You got it, perfect. You can get more paint. You wanna just make sure these lines are very, all coming from the same straight point. You can get more paint, Donna. Dark blue and light blue. Good, and then go down. Could also, if you want, stick a little bit of green in there. Could stick a little bit of medium green and dark blue. And get like another shade in there. Very good. And go all the way down. Good. And go down to about here. Just make sure it's coming from a straight line. Good. Excellent. There you go. That green is going to be a nice shadow underneath it. You can get more dark blue. Dark, good, and then the light. Yeah. yeah, perfect. Go all the way down. And some parts of it you could have more just plain dark blue. It's nice to have the shape. Now you could do one with just plain dark blue. Do you need more dark blue? Yeah, get one of just plain dark blue. You could put some more dark blue over there if you want. Okay, it could be plain dark blue. Just put that one right there. Okay. You got plain dark blue and just go right there. Yeah, you got it. Perfect. So you could have different shades. That's good. Underneath. Very good. Okay. Not, you have to wait like a minute for that to dry. So 
During this time, we're going to do the bushes for a minute, and then we're going to go back to the waterfall. Just the bushes. We're gonna do some bushes on the side. So for the bushes, we're gonna dip our Mommy, take our I cotton balls. Want it dried. I don't, I don't want it so white. You don't want it so white. You want it more dark. So we'll just wait one minute. Just just pop for it to be a little bit more dry. Right in the middle. Okay. Okay. There's black. We got black. You want black, medium green, and that. Really lime tree green. Okay, ready for the bushes, Hannah? Or let's see if it's is it mostly dry, halfway dry? Let's check. We don't want it to be totally dry. You know what? I think it's dry enough. Wait, I see. I think it's halfway dry. Okay, you ready for the waterfall? Okay, so dip it in. You're gonna need lots of white for this part. Dip it in white. Very you need a lot of white paint. If you need more white paint, then you're gonna start from this side, all the way from here. And you're going to make a white line on top of that blue line. Very good. Excellent. Maybe get more white. Make that thick white line. Very good. Okay, now dip it in white again. You're going to start from here. Well, honey, you want that white paint. You don't want to get that white paint off. So you're going to go over here and you're going to make that those same type of downward lines all the way down good keep on going just get more white paint the more white it's gonna look it depends on how, how dry it was very good oh I like that one shade of darker one. Oh, you want to keep that hold on take put it in white again Maybe make like a thicker white layer right there. Starting from there and go down really thickly with white. Good, you got it. And maybe also over here. And down. Here, dip it in white again. Start from over there. And then go down. Down right there. Right there. You got it. Oh, but you don't want it to be starting to look into light blue. You want to keep that dark. I'm going to put the dark again. I don't, um, I'm going to add some more dark into it, Donna, okay? Because we do want to see the dark. We don't want it to look like a light blue blob. We want it to look like a waterfall. So I'm going to put a little bit more dark, and then we're going to do the, the white again. We'll put a little bit, where's that green that you had before? Over there. And then you had one dark blue. Okay, ready to go for it one more time with white? Here, get more white, and I'm gonna put a little bit more of the dark blue over here so you'll see it through it. Okay, take a thick white and go down. Good, thick white. I think we had to wait for it to dry more. We didn't wait. I think we didn't wait long enough. Hmm, we'll just wait another, we'll make it dark blue again, and then you have to wait when it's halfway dry. Yeah, let's curve it. When it's halfway dry, when it's halfway dry, that's when we are going to add the white. Okay. Okay, ready to do the bushes? We'll do the bushes and we'll come back to the waterfall. When it's halfway dry, then the white comes really nicely. Take your cotton. Okay, take your cotton balls. We're gonna do the bushes. Okay. We'll go back to the waterfall. You can always paint over. So dip it in black, black. And then the medium green. And then we're gonna start right over here. Parallel to our waterfall, right there, yeah. And just dab, dab it a lot of times. Very good, Sana, excellent. Dab over there. There we go, you go all the way up to your waterfall. But you don't want to go very, you want, you want the lighter color to also have room. So here, continue over here. All the way to here, huh? Okay, now you ready for the lime tree? Look at that lime tree green. Here, take another cotton ball, do lime tree, maybe a little bit of white too. The lime tree with a tap pot of white. 
Okay, now go on top of there with the lime tree and the white and blend that in really good. Yeah, blend it in, very good. If you, need, if you need, you could add more of that medium green. Looks like you need a little bit more medium green. You want that to be medium green. Let's move this so people can see. Yeah, that's, that's blending a lot better. Yeah, then go all the way down, kind of. Very good, excellent. You want to do one more bush on top of there? Yeah. One more bush on top of there. Do you need more combos? I got a ton. Okay, good. So you can dip it in the dark green. We're gonna do dark on top, dark green and medium green. That waterfall a little bit darker. And there it is. And a little bit of green. Oh, we'll see underneath there. What did you not? Okay, now you just do the, the lime tree with the white. Lime tree, which is the neon green with white, and do on top of there. You could cover up that spot, yeah. And blend that in so you have your second bush. Yeah, do the dabbing, excellent. Yeah, you did it, Hannah, excellent. There's your bushes. And you could do the same thing on the other side, so we'll have bushes on both sides, but it'll just make smaller bushes. If you want, you could do one bush, or you could do... Do you want to just do one bush on the other side? Yeah. Okay. So, do you, looks like you need a little bit more so medium green. So, it doesn't look like two bushes on two yeah. sides. Yeah. So and a little bit more black you need. Black. Yeah. Yeah, you could start on this side, over here. Go up. Go up all the yeah. So it's all about there. Good. Now you can do the lime tree and the white. Looks like you need more lime tree. The brighter green. If you don't have this one, you could just do regular green mixed with yellow and white. Can you mix that with white too, Hannah? Kind of? A little bit of white, yeah. Yeah, you can just dab it all the way down until it's all blended. Oh, dab, 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 good, dab. Very good, dab, dab, you're smushing it, just dab, dab, dab. Good, good, you wanna dab all the way to the bottom, very good. Could you, oh, you wanna blend that in a little bit more over there? Blend in that dark and the... Okay. I think probably a waterfall. Oh, now it's more dry. Excellent. Okay, now we're gonna take the paintbrush. Dip it in white. Hold on. Is, it, is the paintbrush clean, Tana? Let's make sure this paintbrush is clean. Uh, let's make sure it's a little bit cleaner. Clean it out. And dry it. Now do lots of white. Dip it in the white. Good. Now we're gonna make that line over there, and then go down. Good. Very good. Now go down. Very good. And you only want one streak down. Excellent. And get more white paint, Tana. Tana, go get more white paint. Good. 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 Go down. Very good. You did it. 
Oh, it's good, it's good. Perfect. You want to see some of that dark color. You don't want it to look like a blob. Is that good? Yeah, that's good. You just need one more right there. You want to do that last one over there? Go like that and go. And bring that down, all the way down. Oh, you need to go down from here. Good. You did it, Hannah. Excellent. There's your waterfall. Now the bottom part, um, take some of your um, cotton balls. First, you're gonna paint some dark blue. Let's get some dark blue on the bottom over here. Some dark blue and light blue. Do some dark blue and light blue. Well, oh, some dark blue and light blue right there. Yeah. Okay, good. A little bit more dark blue. Dark, dark, dark. Over there. Good. Now take the cotton balls and just dip them in white. Take a few cotton balls, maybe. Yeah, dip them in pure white. I got a good idea. We're gonna take two cotton balls. Right? Yeah. And now you want there to be more white on the top. Yeah, and go like in a circular motion. Yeah, circular motion. If you want, that's the splash of your waterfall. And then you want to blend that all the way down. You do want to see some dark color on the bottom. Of this Is that? Part. Yeah, that's good. So you want it to be darker on the bottom and lighter on the top. You got it. Perfect. Now, you're going to take dark, dark blue. Is that paintbrush? And make a line over here. That goes all the way over here. Well, you want a straight line. As straight as you could. Okay, we'll end up covering that part with, um, with rock. So, it's fine if there's a little hole over there. Just want to make it as straight as you can. Very good. So now do like halfway with the dark blue. Maybe you can mix up a little bit of the light blue. The light blue? Yeah, just a touch. And make a, a darker blue line. Good. Excellent. And then underneath there, you want to clean your paintbrush. There's um, napkins. And then take the light blue mixed with the green. So you want like a, an aqua. Um, the medium green or with light blue. Yeah. Just so we have like a nice aqua color. Do you like that aqua color? And then just go like that on the bottom. Good. And then blend that with the top. You want more of the light blue? I can get you a little bit more of the light blue. A little bit more of the light blue in that aqua? Here, here's the light blue. down, blend it in. Good. Now what you're going to do, oh, take your finger, dip it in the white, and make a line from here, a line down. A line yeah. Across. Yeah, excellent. You got it. And now take your finger and just switch it back and forth from one side of the water to the other side. And that's going to make it look like the reflection of the sun that you painted on the top. Yeah, just get it that you don't see that blob of white also. Just wanna see reflection. You don't wanna smush it, you just wanna go from side to side. Good, excellent, now it's looking like water. And now take a thin paintbrush. We're almost done. This is, this is flat, so it's good enough. Um, oh, you know what I realized we didn't do? Our, our rocks. Ready for the rocks? Yes. Rocks are going to need black, beige, and that light orange and brown. Let's get brown. There's brown. You don't need that much. Okay. Okay, so dip. Oh, you need a smaller paintbrush for the rocks. Then. That's a huge one. Here, take this and mix your, dip your paintbrush in black and then brown. And make a line right on top of that blue. 
And it could cover over the over the splashes, that's fine. Yeah. Good. And then on top of there, you could clean out your paintbrush, dip it in beige paint, and then that light orange. Yeah, and that's gonna be the top of the rock. Yeah. You got it. And then blend that in. doing that blending really well. And that's going to pick up that light orange in the sunset. And you can do one more rock on top of there if you want. So you want to do black right behind there. Right behind the rock you want to do black. Pure black for the shadow. And then you can do another rock behind there. You can do the brown. Good. And then the beige and the light orange. I'm covering this part anymore. Okay, so you can get more of the black and dark brown. Blend that with any dark more or no? The, the black and brown with the get more of that dark color. Yeah, there you go. Okay, we're up to the last finishing touches. Oh, I realize over here there's a little bit of a blank spot. Went on a little bit more bushes over there, like black and green. Or you want to keep that water? I want to make like splashes here. <laughs> okay, it's up to you. I'm gonna make that some more splashes. They're gonna need some dark blue too. There you go. Good. Now oh, it's great. Now take white and just make a white line right on top of that blue. Just like it looks like a little bit of a white reflection. Very, very, very thin. Good. And you could do it. Very good. Maybe you need a little bit more white. This is going to jump just underneath there. Just underneath the rocks. Perfect. Now if you want, you could also take that white and just make a few little white, like, white lines in the water. Like over here. Yeah, you take white again. You can make a few little white lines just to make that water look a little bit more natural. Perfect. Yeah, you got it. Like there, there's already, but maybe like over here. Just a few little, very short white lines. Good. Another one. You can do on the other side too. You want them to be very, very thin. Thin white lines. Good, that's it. Even even shorter. Like short, thin white lines. Yeah. Okay, I think you are done, Sana. Now the fun part is taking off the tape. Are you ready, Sana? There you go, and take it all off. And then show everyone your painting. That was Mommy's, and that's Sana's. Here, Sana, you wanna show everybody? This is Sana's one, and this is the one I did. She did a, what do you say, Sana did an A-plus job. Have a great rest of the day, everybody. And I hope you enjoy watching. <laughs>